What is going on, my peeps? It's your man, Micah, back with Versatile Production, back here with another video talking about how to maximize your phone battery life or your battery life on your Galaxy device or Android device or specifically the S22 Ultra. Now, again, keep in mind, depending on what avenue it is, either A, you don't have One UI 4.0, B, you don't have One UI 4.1, or C, you have an Android device and not a Samsung device because most of these features will be available on Samsung, Samsung devices universally. So keep that in mind when you're checking out these features and maybe through the exploration, you will find features that are similar on your device. All right, so without further ado, <laughs> let's get into it. All right, so what we're gonna do is as usual, we hit settings, go into settings, we're gonna go up here to connections. We're gonna go to mobile network. Turn off data roaming. Data roaming is going to con constantly try to search for mobile data to try to do whatever processing it wants to do, data download and upload. Turn that off so that way it's only using the network when the network is available to run processing, all right? Turn data roaming off. In networking mode, I would suggest that to save battery life, turn off 5G and go down to LTE 3G 2G mode. Because depending on where you're at, the infancy of 5G still isn't that great, I guess you could say. So do you really need to run 5G like that? If I were you, I would just switch down to the five, by clicking on it, just switch to the LTE 3G 2G mode. Now, if you want to, you can even just switch down to LTE 3G, just eliminate 2G altogether. So you can also do that. Now I do have an, uh, uh, an option if you want to keep 5G on, that would help your battery life as well. And I'm going to show you guys that right now. Well, later on in the video. So you have that. And then if we go uh, switch back out here, go to display. If you want to save battery life, again, uh, leave adaptive brightness on or just turn it off and have your brightness much lower. That's how you can save battery life because it's not using all the nits. It's not maximizing the brightness of your display. So have adaptive brightness turned on or just turn it off and have your brightness set at a much lower value. Also, motion smoothness, turn that off to standard. Now, standard, let's, Samsung has gotten so masterful with 60 hertz that sometimes you can't tell that the phone is on 60 hertz because it's still so smooth and fresh and clean. Shout out to them. <laughs> but Again, based off an option I'm gonna show you, you can probably leave 120 hertz on, but I suggest turning that off if you wanna save battery life. Screen resolution mode, if you wanna save battery life, turn it down from WQHD plus to full HD plus. You will experience great visual still with, with full HD plus as opposed to WQHD plus. Again, an option I'm gonna show you guys, you may actually be able to leave these settings on because I've already tested and proven these results. Screen timeout. You probably don't want it on 10 minutes if you're trying to save battery life. Have that on like a minute or even five minutes. That way your screen will turn off that much faster, not consuming battery life to maintain that display. All right, what's the next feature we can look at? Uh, always on display. You can do, you can have it on and just do tap to show, so that way you can just tap the, the display to see some data and it goes away. You can do uh, a scheduled mode or just show for new notifications or you can turn it off all the way but showing always will drain your battery life so definitely don't put it on show always the other options help with battery life and simply just turning it off also saves battery life anything else here no what's the next thing if we go into advanced features we want to look at the labs no all that's fine it will be in motions and gestures there's a lot of this you could probably turn off if you want to. Now, the ones that I already have off will actually help you with that. If you want, you can just keep screen on while viewing. Turn that off. The reason why you want to turn that off is because it's detecting your eyes to not start the timeout yet. So if you want the timeout to start regardless of what you're doing, turn that off. That way the timer is starts working once you stop swiping or, or act interacting with the device. And that is all in this area. If we come down, oh, well, no, I think that was everything. Yeah, well, okay, so, see, yeah, that was everything. All right, so this is where it's going to get fun. Battery, uh, <laughs> battery care. If you go into battery, 
you come down here you can instantly turn on power saving if you want to right power saving turns off always on display it limits the CPU speed to 70% and decreases brightness by 10%. So if you have that on, you're instantly already going to start saving battery life. So I suggest you turn that on if you just want to save battery, period, throughout the day. You're not using your phone like that. Turn power saving mode on and you're good. Or if you are if you know how you use your phone and you know you're not going to be on your phone like that, turn power saving mode on. It'll save your battery. So that way when you actually need the phone, it's readily available. And then you can just go on your quick, you know, your mode notification here if you swipe down turn off power saving right from there and you keep it pushing. Now, other options is in more battery settings. You can use adaptive battery, which will limit battery usage for apps that you don't use often. That's a way to maintain good battery life on your phone. Processing speed, switch this baby back to optimize. Now, this is best for most situations, balances speed with battery and cooling efficiency. So if you're concerned about heating and your battery life, switch that to optimized. And then if you want to also protect your battery, you can turn on protect battery, which will extend the lifespan of your battery, limiting, limiting the maximum charge to 85%. That way your, the longevity of your battery will last longer. If you want, you can also maybe turn off some of the fast, the super fast charging, or you can even put the fast wireless charging on a, I thought you could put it on a timer, but I guess not. Um, you used to be able to. At least I could, I think, with the Z Flip 3, but maybe that changed with One UI 4 or One UI 4.1. Actually, I haven't been paying attention since then. And then if we want to, the next thing we're going to do is go into Good Guardians. This is an app that you need to download from the Galaxy Store. And then these are the modules. So if you want a battery track, you download that so that way you can track the usage of different things that you do. So that way you can also make fine adjustments to your activities on your phone to, to maximize the battery life. If you want, you can also go into Battery Guardian. Make sure you have app power saving on because it will optimize the battery draining apps so that way you can extend your battery life. You can also have screen power saving on which optimizes the battery usage of the display. So if you turn that on, if you turn it on, you'll be able to basically exclude apps from dimming the screen instantly. So that's something to keep in mind if you want to see your screen and immediately start dimming down when you're in apps, just turn that on. Of course, power save during bedtime, you're not using your phone and unless you have it on the charger, you don't want it to sit battery like that at night. So make sure you have that on so that way it limits everything to maximize the amount of battery life that you lose while you're asleep. And then of course, extend battery life by optimizing settings that use a lot of battery power. So if you click this, you can actually come in here and already cut on certain things such as dark mode, which is another feature you can use that most things in Samsung is instant black, it's OLED black, not like the dark gray that Google does, it's OLED black. So if you do dark mode, that will also save you battery life. You can also put that on a custom setting. But here you can check off things that the phone can do for you. So that way, once it optimizes, those things are already set and you can extend your battery life in that direction as well. Now, if we go into Thermal Guardian, you can actually take Thermal Guardian go in the other direction and make sure your phone stays cool by two degrees Celsius. That way you're limiting the amount of performance that the CPU really needs to do. And again, if you're not doing a lot on your phone like that, you don't need it to process a lot like that, it's actually a good idea to kick it in the other direction so your phone stays cooler and your processor stays cooler. Your phone stays cooler. Good idea. Now, additional settings. This is a way you can also save battery life and save uh, yourself heating problems. Switch on limit CPU boosting when heating decrease maximum brightness when heating, apply standard motion smoothness when heating. So once the phone feels like it's heating a certain pass or to certain points, you're going to want to do this. You kick it back. Now you see on my scale, it got kind of hot at one point around that two to three o'clock range. And that's because, oh, actually that's interesting because I was not on pin app anymore. I guess it was an initial charge. Yep, it was charging in the environment, which is interesting because it was cold in the room. So those are options you can use within Thermal Guardian to maximize your phone, <clears throat> excuse me, and control the heating of your device. If you go into Memory Guardian, this is another great spot where you can save battery life. Is if you hit the Customize tab at the bottom of the screen, 
you can even leave, leave you can either leave it on default mode because Samsung already kind of intuitively kills apps in the background. I think it was a little bit too much to my liking. So if you want to save battery life, you want to switch yours to speed up top app mode. Clean up memory to secure empty space on a regular basis. When running an app that uses a lot of memory, it will help to prevent slowing down due to memory loads. It is recommended if you use the game frequently or use a small number of apps. So if you're, if you're not an active person on your phone like that, speed up top app mode will maximize the one app that you're using at a time and that will save battery life. Now, alternatively or conversely, it could actually wreck your battery life to some degree if you end up using more apps because in order to fire up that app again, it consumes more battery to initialize that app. So if you're killing the app in the background more often, my suggestion would be for you to just switch to quick switching mode. So that way you actually don't really have that problem and those apps stay optimized in the background. So when you go back to that app, it's still running and it's fine. Killing apps actually drains more battery if you end up going back into that app more frequently, if not during the day, you know, over the course of time, if you realize you're doing that, that means you're probably using more than just a few number of apps and I would stick to default or quick switching mode. And that is how you save battery life on your Samsung Galaxy device or your Android device minus the Good Guardians app. I have found that both use cases work. Now I maximize, as you guys saw, I maximize settings. Every, I'm trying to get the right lighting on this. I maximize my settings on this device, but I know that at the end of the day, I don't have to think about and look at battery life. I don't have to be like, okay, how much battery do I have left? Because I'm confident that this phone will last me throughout the day. That 5G toggle is perfect, I think. I think that's the one feature that Samsung did a good job adding because I think it toggles off 5G more than it's on because 5G doesn't really get used like that in general. So it's easy to kick off 5G for most usage because either you don't live in a great area that, that has 5G or 5G is so small in areas that you don't really need it and 4G LTE is still very solid. So take that for what you will. I suggest you actually kind of play around and utilize more of your settings with your phone all overall and just kick that feature on. Kick that feature on and I think that's what's gonna save a lot of your phones battery life is that 5G function. Let your, let your phone, you know, use 5G when it needs to. That's how I'm gonna put it right there. But that is it for this video. Hope you guys appreciate and enjoyed it. Again, as always, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys ignite the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so that way you never miss my videos. That way you can sit back just like to see what's cracking. And also let me know down in the comment section below what features helped you or have helped you uh, save battery life, maximize battery life. Were these features useful to you were you able to find other features as a result of this video? Let me know down in the comment section below. It's your man Versatile or Micah signing out. Until the next video. Wait for it.